Hi everyone and welcome to an FLE tuition. Today's lesson is going to be how to tie a blood knot. Now a blood knot is used to tie your fishing line onto your hook or your swivel or in any other situation that you need to tie your line onto something. It's a really easy knot to tie but the trick to it is tying it perfectly so that it's going to be nice and strong, won't come undone and won't snap. So to start with I'm going to show you in giant size, then I'm going to show you tying it line to a hook and hopefully with a bit of practice you'll be able to tie the perfect blood knot. Okay everyone, so to start with we're going to tie a blood knot in giant size. I'm going to use my throw rope here with this yellow cord to give you an example of how to tie a perfect blood knot. So to start with what we do is you take your line and you pass it through your hook or around through your swivel. In this instance I'm going to use this lovely post. As I go round through the eye, this part here is known as the tail, and this part goes off to your pole or your reel and is your main line. It's called an eight turn blood knot, and that refers to the amount of times you twist your tail around your main line. So we go eight times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight times around your main line. You can see the twist there. Now, down near the hook, where the twists meet your hook or your swivel, There'll be this little loop here, okay? So the twist ends there, this hole here. What you want to do is take your tail, pass it back down through that gap, okay? So it's through there. Now, this is the trick, people. What you do is to start with when you're tightening the blood knot, you pull both the main line and the tail away from each other just to get it started, okay? Once the knot starts to come together, you then let go of the tail end, moisten the knot and you pull the main line and slide the blood knot down, okay, as we go. Just pull it down here. Okay, so you get a nice neat knot against your hook. And that's the trick. Pull the main line, don't pull the tail. Now, that was obviously with a rope and a post. I'm now going to show you how to do it with a hook and some main line. Okay everyone, so I've shown you how to tie a blood knot using rope and a post. Obviously we don't use a rope and a post to go fishing. Instead, we use our hooks and we use our line. Now we'll use fairly big hooks here. These are size eight Gardner Talon tips. And I've got some four pound line here to show you how to tie a blood knot. Obviously match the size of your hook up with the bait which you're using. And it'll help you catch more fish. But for demonstration purposes, this is gonna work fine. So I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm gonna do a nice close up with the camera and show you exactly how to tie a blood knot. Okay, so here we go, we're going to tie a blood knot. I've got my hook, holding it between my finger and my thumb, and I've got my line. First thing to do is put the line through the eye of the hook, so it's actually on your line there. Now just like we did in the rope, we're going to take the tail end, which is this loose end, and wrap it eight times around our main line here. So, once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. And notice that I'm actually using my middle finger here to hold the hook in position so it doesn't spin and the twists don't come out. Then taking the tail end here, I'm just going to push it back through the loop next to the eye of the hook, so through there, it's a bit fiddly, hold on to it, and then to start with I pull both ends apart. Sometimes, there we go, so we just get it round, I pull both ends, and you can see the knot actually coming together there, hopefully the camera will pick it up and we're gonna pull it until about there, okay? Now that knot at the moment is not finished. If you try to cut the tail end off now and hook to big fish, that will come undone. The trick to a blood knot is we then let go of the tail end and hold onto the hook, moisten, with a little bit of saliva on my fingers there, the knot, and I'm gonna pull the main line. So the tail end is let loose, I'm gonna pull the main line and the knot will slide down like so so that all eight of the coils are perfectly next to the hook. Now that knot will not come undone. It's been pulled nice and tight. The finishing touches is take a pair of scissors, try not to use your teeth, and we snip the tail off. And there you go. Perfect eight turn blood knot. So there you go people. That's how you tie an eight turn blood knot. It's what we use to connect our hook or our swivel. A blood knot along with a loop knot will do for about 99% of your fishing situations. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep practicing those eight-turn blood knots and hopefully you'll go out and hook a personal best.